Hi, Prosperity Team. It's Dr. Money coming to you from the prosperity corner of the universe where silliness is sacred and nobody's perfect. I am your P.O.P., your Professor of Prosperity, and I'm here so that all of our lives can pop with prosperity. I've spoken before about the importance of teaching our children about money, and I want to tell a story. I'm kind of proud of this one. My husband and I took our grandchildren, Thomas and Reynolds, to Magnolia Gardens yesterday. It's a beautiful plantation, used to grow rice, and it's full of azaleas. We were there at the perfect time, it's full of azaleas. And there's rice fields, and you can overlook the Ashley River, and there is an observation ta uh, tower that's four stories high. So the boys and Grandpappy and I climbed to the top of the observation tower. Oh, it was beautiful. And we sat there for a little while. And then Thomas ran all the way downstairs, four stories, and he ran back upstairs. We sat down for a few minutes and then we walked down together and Thomas says, Grandmama, this is a wonderful observation tower. They built it for us. That was just so nice of them to do. He said, I bet it cost a lot of money to build this tower. Maybe we should give them a donation. <laughs> and I was just so excited. I hadn't told him about donations, so I'm sure it was his parents. But I did, when they were two years old, give them their first cash money for them to manage. And they've been collecting money and buying things and learning how to navigate money since then. And they're six now, almost seven. And it, it, they play video games in which you earn points, which to them are like money. And then you can buy more vi virtual fish for your fish tank or you can buy more pets for your for, for your personal pets but they're virtual pets but you can on on this um, ABC I think it's one two three mouse you can for example you can buy a dragon but then you have this place where you can water the dragon feed the dragon pet the dragon <laughs> so you have your own personal virtual pet it's so cute but they have to earn it by reading books or do it solving math problems or something like that to be able to buy these things but they're learning more and more about the meaning of money so let's demystify money for our children it's never too late to start I had my first checking account when I was, I think, 15 years old, and my first savings account when I was very young, maybe four or five years old, to save my Christmas money and my birthday money in it. So let's keep our children informed so that when they grow up, that they'll be able to handle their money easily and safely, wisely, and with honesty and integrity. Let's join together now and take a deep breath together. Wow, and as we breathe in, let us receive. We receive our good with the in-breath. And as we exhale, we exhale our intention that all other beings receive their good as well. This is Dr. Money, and I want you to remember one more thing for sure. And that is that I love you.